y'all and welcome back. I know I'm not supposed to have a video today. If you're new around here, I'm doing Kate Miss where I am uploading and posting something new every other day, but I'm gonna be squeezing in an extra video there because I kinda sort of impulsively purchased the Melt Mystery Box that came out for December and I wanna unbox it with you guys. Now, to be upfront and clear, I haven't even looked at this yet. It is still taped, but I did watch the unboxing for the December box from Amy Loves Makeup. And I'm already a little disappointed because the palette she got <laughs> was not the palette I would want to use. She got the very, oh, what is it called? Millennial Pink or something like that. That's what she picked up, and I was like, oh, shoot. But the reason I purchased it is because I had watched Amy's previous video, and the neutral, like super neutral palette had come in that, and everything else was really intriguing. So I was like, oh, I wouldn't have liked the November box. But I was like, you know, maybe the December box will be something interesting because they said they weren't going to repeat any uh, like products within the box. And so if they already used the neutral one, maybe it'll be something interesting and like colorful when it comes to the palette in December box. So that's why I decided to pick it up. I decided to pick up the big one, $75, it is here. I was apparently brave at one point and was like, yeah, we'll do a mystery box. This shouldn't go too badly. And with my history for uh, mystery unboxings, which if you're new around here, here's the last one that I did a mystery unbox for. And to say I was disappointed would be an understatement. And I feel like I'm going to be disappointed again. But I already purchased it. It's here. Let's go ahead and open it together. And I figured it'd be a fun kind of blind react since I haven't even opened it. I got the scissors. Let's cut it open and just hope that there's enough product in here that will make me excited for what's inside. All right, so as I cut in here, I should say that one, another reason that I was kind of down to getting Melt is because I feel like I like Melt as a brand, like a lot of the products that come out I'm always interested in, but they are more expensive, so I never tend to make purchases from them unless they have a palette that I'm super intrigued in, but they have come out with a lot of like face and lip products that have always intrigued me, but I just never bought it, so that's why I figured it'd be great to grab this mystery box because a lot of the other products, even not including, you know, not talking about the palettes, should be interesting to me as long as they're in colors I'll use. I'm kind of excited. So let's open it on up. It says, thank you. We love you, Milk Cosmetics. Tons of lips and different lip colors on there. So I'm just going to go on top and try not to totally spoil it for myself. Like I said, I feel like I'm going to be so disappointed, but uh, it is the palette. I was really crossing my fingers. I didn't watch any other videos afterwards because I was kind of like just hyping myself up saying like maybe they're doing different palettes in each box and maybe I won't get the Millennial Pink palette, but... I got the Millennial Pink palette. And I will say it's not a terrible palette. It's very light and it's very neutral, but I mean, if, it, if it, I like pink, I think I would be down for it because it has a lot of interest in there. I feel like it's pretty. It's just, I'm not into pink at all. So I feel like that's why I'm just like, no, there's no reason for me even touching it. So I'll probably be, I guess, reselling this on my um, Poshmark or Macari. I tend to do Macari more these days because it looks beautiful. Like I said, if I was more into pinks, I would dive into this because I love the mix of pinks with the gray and black and just cool tone silver and stuff. I feel like that's beautiful. But I don't know. It just doesn't excite me that much. So... Yeah, I don't plan to open this or touch that. I did open it, but I don't plan to touch it. So that was a bummer. I really was hoping to get one of like the more grungy green palettes that they came out with. So let's see if there's something else in this in this mystery box that will kind of recoup the loss and make me not be so disappointed that I spent $75 on a mystery box that I'm not going to use anything out of. First up, we have Perfectionist Lip Ultra Precise Pencil. I don't use lip pencils either. This is in the color Caffeine. It looks like a pretty brown. I was hoping it was like an eyeliner pencil, but this is a lip pencil. No, I don't use lip pencils ever. It's a uh, like a wood pencil if you're curious. So yeah, another one not going to use. I'll go ahead and put prices on the screen if you're curious and we can tally it up. I'll do that in editing so you guys can see if it would be worth it for you. But so far, two, first two products I pulled are not my jam. Next up is the, oh, the, the foil, the digital liquid. This is the liquid highlights, the very interestingly named one. Here is what it looks like. That is a ginormous bottle. That's like as big as a foundation bottle. This is a plastic one. My foundation bottles are on the floor right now because my son got into them. It's big. It's glass. It's nice and heavy duty. Is it a pump? Yeah, it's an interesting little flat pump. I am not going to be opening this because it's like a highlighter, but it's like a pinky highlighter. It looks very pretty, but it's just not something I'm ever going to use. I'm not into liquid highlighter to begin with. I'm not into the whole theme behind it as well. And also, let's see. It's just so much. I would never use this. I would try it once and then never touch it. You could use it on your body, face. It's just not me. So, another product. Three products that are so far a fail. Okay, next up we have a blush. This is a cream blush in the color Golden Hour. So now I'm not into blushes. I was hoping for like more bronzer. The product looks like it's very sweaty right now, which isn't too, too surprising. This is pretty. It is definitely a cream 
blush that I don't have in my collection, but also it looks like there is a discoloration in the center. I didn't touch it, but it looks like an indentation in my mirror here, but looking at it up close, I don't know. It's definitely a discoloration. I'm trying to see if there's like something stuck on it and that's why it's causing the discoloration. Mm, I don't know. I'll have to look more into that afterwards and see if that's concerning or if I want to use it. But if it's okay, I'll probably end up using this. Might as well try it. Like I said, I don't have many cream blushes. I'm not a big cream blush person, but this is a color that I think is different and unique and it's more a color of blush that I would enjoy. So I will use this. I'm not crazy like excited and so over the moon about it, but it's something I'll use as long as the the little discoloration's not weird. All right, next up is this cat suit, ultra matte lipstick in the color cat suit. Their boxes are so nice. They have that like velvety kind of NARS feeling to it. So, so nice. Okay. Wow, the indentation in here. It like says Melt Cosmetics and all the different writing that they like to do all around it. That's beautiful. But that is definitely a brown, brown lipstick. Oh heck, maybe I'll use it. I don't know. I would have used it for sure if it was more of a nude, but that's a dark brown bordering on like black. Like that's a dark, dark, dark color. Should I wear it? It's so beautiful though. Like very, very pretty. Visually beautiful to look at and then the packaging is magnetic, which is super cool. It's lightweight feeling, but very nice with the magnetic closure and the detail. So this is another product that I'm kind of 50-50 if I'll use it. Okay, let's keep going. What else we got in here? Ultra Matte Gel Liner. I don't use gel liners too much. Is there a liquid liner in there? Can I open this without popping off my nails? That is the question. Maybe I'm just not someone who should be getting mystery boxes because apparently I don't, I don't, either I have really bad luck or I'm very ungrateful. <laughs> I can't figure out which one it is. But this is the color Cultura. Oh, interesting color. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that's just sweaty from being outside in the mail and whatnot, but it's like looks wet. I don't want to touch it. So I can't tell if it's just uh, looking like that. It almost looks like um, a cream. Like I could touch it and just go like straight to the bottom that's soft. But I don't think it's like that. I don't know, it's just very shiny. Anyway, this color, I don't think I'd use that at all. Like as a wing liner, I just don't feel like I would use that soft of a color and in my waterline, I don't know. I just don't think I'd use that. So I think I'm gonna keep this one shut. Um, unless I change my mind afterwards, I don't think I'm gonna use it. Just because it's a color that I don't feel like I ever think to use. And I don't know, just a little too interesting. Okay, let's see what this is. This is the Milk Cosmetics. Ooh, highlighter. This is in Pink Moon. Yay, I was hoping for a highlighter. Definitely was something I was wanting to see. Here is, oh my goodness. It's an iridescent pink. I feel like that's a little bit too strong of a color. But oh my goodness, they have the writing imprinted in there as well. It's so pretty. I'll have to look through my collection and see if I don't have this type of iridescent pink already, then I'll probably dip into it and keep it just to have an iridescent pink. And then I'm just so curious to try Melt Highlighter Formula. This one's a 50-50 one. I see another one like this. Let me grab it real quick and let's just see. Oh no, this is different, I think. This is a blush light. Never mind. I saw it looked similar in there, but no, this is the only highlighter that I got. <laughs> I was hoping for not pink. I don't know. I just feel like pinky highlighters don't really look that great on me. Anyway, this is in Shadow Play. And this is in, this is a blush light, like I said. So I'm assuming just like a powder blush. Ooh, it's a magnetic closure. Oh my goodness. No, wait. That's not a blush. That looks like a highlighter. That's like white. Let me see if they tell me the description for this. Nope. It just says a blush light. So is this like a blush topper? Okay, we're going to touch it. So I guess I'm keeping this. Let's see what it looks like. I'm confused. It just looks like a powder. Oh, oh, okay, that's shiny. Okay, that's a highlighter. It's like a highlighter. Look, as we blend it out, when I swatched on my finger, it just looked like a white powder, but like, look at that. It's got like green shiftiness to it. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I'll use this because I was kind of disappointed when I first swatched. I was like, oh shoot, I touched it. Now I can't, you know, sell it, but that looks pretty. Okay, I'm excited about this. This is a highlighter I'll definitely use. Oh my goodness, that looks so pretty, like especially on the cheekbones. And if I didn't have highlighter on, I would pop this on top. Okay, let's see. Not much more, just two more in here. Let's see. We have lip liner. Two more lip liners we have. Wasn't this already a lip liner? Yeah, a lip pencil. Okay, these are Lip liners. I don't know, kind of bummed. I, I just don't use lip liners at all. I was hoping for liquid lipsticks or lipsticks. Anyway, these colors are in the shade Cinder and Scandal. Like a nudie pink mauve. And this is like a peachy red almost. Maybe it's, yeah, it's more red. It's like a, a orangey red. Not really peachy, but yeah. Not keeping either one of these. I just don't use lip liners. So man, three lip liners in one box. I was hoping for more lipsticks. Let me just make sure I put the right one in the right box. I was re really hoping for more lipsticks or liquid lipsticks or lip glosses I was even down for because you guys know I've been more into lip glosses. 
and I get three lip liners in the one box for a girl who doesn't use lip liners at all. Okay, so let's recap real quickly. Got three lip liners that are all a no for me. I'll put on the screen right here the total as I'm doing this. And then I have a gel liner pot. It's a no for me. I have the liquid highlighter and then the pellet. Oh my goodness, almost dropped it. That's a no. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what's the yes slash maybe. This is definitely a yes. This highlighter, the shadow play, blush light. This is a, a, the resounding yes. This is the winner out of the whole box is one thing. And then these three are a maybe. I'm going to have to think about it a little bit more. I got to see what that spot is in here. Make sure it's not... I don't know, mold or anything growing. I need to look at it under different lighting and whatnot. And then these two, this color is just one that I'm not gonna wear often. It's very pretty. So I'm like, should I just keep it or should they sell and try to recoup some of the loss from this box when it comes to money-wise? Because I spent $75 to only be excited for one thing that I'm sure is less than $75. So that's where it's, you know, with mystery boxes, it's a little hard if you have a bunch of like meh, products, it's like, okay, was that worth it? Or should I have just watched the one product I would have been super excited about and save some money? Um, if you're someone who's watching this and you see it and love everything in the box, I will also leave Amy Loves Makeup, her video down below with the December box and a couple other creators I know did it as well. I think Allie, oh, I forget her last name or like her, her username on YouTube, but I'll leave a couple of videos down below. I would encourage you to kind of click around to see. I feel like we got very, very, very similar boxes. They didn't like, you know, change them up too much. From what I remember, this is going off of memory. So, if you really like everything in the box and it's still available and like I said, it's $75 so it's worth it. If you like everything in the box, maybe you can pick it up, but I don't know. For me personally, I'm bummed. I should have just saved my $75 and not picked it up. Overall, this was a dud for me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. With mystery boxes, I'm always a little torn because it's like, it's a mystery, so you know, who knows what you get, but so part of me doesn't like that. I'm sitting here you know, being super disappointed because I knew it was a mystery going into it, but I don't know. I can't help how I feel. And looking at this, I definitely regret purchase. We can say that right now. This is a purchase that I regret making, but we'll see. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think of mystery unboxings. Do you guys like mystery unboxings? Do you like purchasing mystery boxes from brands? Another reason I thought this would be a good box to get is because I haven't purchased anything from Melt in a long time, but three lip liners and I just don't use lip liners. So that was a big bummer. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Gonna keep this video pretty short and sweet just so it can be a bonus video for you guys. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts down below as always and stay tuned for a new video tomorrow because as I said in the beginning, this video was a little bonus one I threw in on my off day. So there's still another video coming tomorrow and I will see you guys in that video.